there are various um, um, projections about what will happen in September, but based on current preparedness in the department and in schools and based on current rates of infection, what is the most likely scenario? Is it every school returning in uh, the end of August uh, for full five full school days? And will it, is it anticipated that it will be possible to have sort of early drop-off and homework clubs after schools or not? Uh, look, that is our overall objective. We are further along the road on primary. We still have some log logistical challenges to work through a post-primary. There, there will be variances in approaches in terms of times of starting schools and so on, and we will have to work through those issues, and it will involve uh, starting off breakfast clubs where they have them and after school care where they have them, whether immediately or over time. But you've certainly set out what our, our high-level objective is. We don't want to open... Expectations are different things. As I said, we are working, we are working through... Sorry, Chair. We are working through... The, the, we are very confident at primary. We recognise we have more logistical challenges to work through at post-primary, but we are working through the, those and we're in intense discussions with the stakeholders on those. Thank you for that clarification. Um, Enrolment, if I'm correct from what you said earlier to Deputy Costello, it's the enrolment at a particular time that determines the number of teachers. It's a particularly acute issue in smaller schools. It's not how many children are in the school at the beginning of September, it's the number that were enrolled previously. Isn't that correct? Yeah, it's enrolments at the 30th of September dictate the, the, the staffing for the schools. Okay. Uh, but obviously, in the new in COVID environment that we'll be operating under, if, the, if there are students enrolled in the school and cannot attend for COVID reasons, obviously the department has to be flexible in terms of how that's managed. Is the number of teachers that every school will have in September next already set, regardless of whether parents send their children or whether they decide to hold them back for a year? The answer to that is yes, Deputy. Thank you. Thank yes. you. That's clear. Okay.